All right guys, so we just got here. I am going to head in. Um, it is eight o'clock, doors open, and I am assuming that there's gonna be a long line. So I'm gonna go try to find my way. We're in Long Beach at the Long Beach Convention Center. So I'm pretty much just going to follow the colorful hair that I see walking around and we should be good to go. Parked on the wrong side. So now I'm having to like walk all the way around. Yay, but guess what? Got my bed. And we always take the four pictures, always, always, always. So we're gonna talk to you guys about what we're gonna be doing to each model. Um, and I'll just have you guys um, hustle it up with the pictures. I know. <laughs> <laughs> always work from up and keep working down and down. And I like to move the hair along with the way it falls. So I would go in here, she had a little bit of curl in her hair, but I would fall out and see exactly where it is placed. And you can even set, um, separate. So either you Dutch braid at the base and then fishtail the remainder. I of actually that, right? fishtail Dutch fishtail from the base. So it's just a two strand um, braid, and then it just adds, makes it so much more frothier. And I think this. Okay. And then oh yeah, fireball and yellow. Wait, how much fireball? Fireball is a lot. Oh yeah, fireball. <laughs> So pretty. Fireball makes things neon. You cut it with another color. On Caitlin, her pink, when you get when she comes back out here, you guys will see it's kind of neon. It's because I put a dot fireball in the pink.
everybody. He is an incredible artist, so amazing. If you guys can follow him, you need to go check him out. So, what is your favorite hair color? Blush. Blush. Okay, well, there you go. I bleach straight over it. And you can still see a mile in there, you know? But it's coverable and it's better than destroying the hair all the way. So when it comes to that case, a lot of times you gotta get strategic, but sometimes if it's the hair is light enough, you gotta just let your uh hang, you know? Holy moly, so easy, so easy. So do you guys wanna talk a little bit about why uh, you're applying the wet hair and he's applying the dry hair? I'm gonna talk to you. I'll just start what you understand. Thank you though, brother. Okay. Why you're applying the wet hair? Well, I apply my colors to damp hair. It allows me to move really quickly and the, the blend is seamless. So I use permanent color on damp hair to come. Got me? Got me. When I color, I just uh, stuff the top of the split. When I do the shadow root, and I put shadow roots on most colors, you don't put your hand in them. That's the trick. Is, you know, we got to wipe off our hands a lot when we're doing damage. You can't bring it anywhere. So. The least you put your hands in it and do three strokes out, the better off you are doing your shadows, especially if you keep the white ends and you're just going in. Try not to put your hands in, you don't want to do a brush. When you, when you brush it on, also hold the hair out vertical. Don't just hold it flat. So if you hold it out vertical and you get your little wipe on, it's all that you're not going to leave a line when it drops flat, right? Alright, so again, I'm using, I'm using my brush. This is when I overlap. Next up, and up. Look like I did this shit for a living. Yep. So do you guys want to talk about formulas a little bit? Like how you put these in there? Oh, I'll have formulas. you go first. Right, so Don't you guys want to know formulas? Who wants to know formulas? Who we'll uses a short cup and a little bit of ash additive in it? So it looks like a, a pretty pinky uh, brown. And that's what you use it? Yeah. And then you're so using Schwarzkopf and what were, what were the colors again? 628716, uh, a few grams of E1 and a few grams of 088. So you guys are like writing that down feverishly, right? And I know you're using, you're using Pope Ryan. Pope Ryan. Ryan. Oh, okay. So tell us a little bit about what you're, what you're using today, what brand, well, and what you're doing to get this, uh, what your goal is. I, I, I'm all Pope Ryan, you know, I, I love it. it. It lasts long, it sticks good, and then I add beef free and all my Pope Ryan as well. It totally extends the life. Another great thing that it does is it, it actually makes it go through the hair a whole lot smoother. Who has done divots in the past and used four tooth from someone's head can still see freaking wrong? Well, I put a, a, a more than what they, they tell you to put when it comes to adding B3 to my divots. I actually load, load it up because it, it makes it go through the hair a whole lot easier and I don't have to worry about finding high and low spots that I'm missing even though I work my hardest not to miss it. It loosens it up a lot. But one thing you do have to keep in account is you make your color a little bit brighter than what you normally would because you are diluting it with oil and hydrostain and oil. But not only that, it, it really does make your color last longer. I see a lot of people like you trouble breathing trouble you, but so you actually you cut it down with the B3 reconstructor sometimes? Every time. Like if I got like a dark purple and I wanted to do a light lavender or something, I'll cut it with conditioner. Uh, the ends are 10 0, 10 1 4, 9 5 1, and 0 8 8. Here. I'm just trying to achieve a little bit of volume. So very important, if you don't want to have a messy, messy uh, teasing, you need to put tension on that section. So when I'm grabbing that section, now, you can leave it like this, or you can go and turn this, and you can even go and, and pull bigger, because the hair is secure with rubber bit, so it's not going to go anywhere. You can have the, you have the flexibility to pull as much as you want. Do you think you can do this behind the chair? Really? Yeah. This is great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually section her out, right? So I'm going to go ahead and like piece my puzzle together. And so crown to the maybe somewhere around the ear there. And on the other side as well. So this is going to be 
gonna be my first part of my day. Yeah, well we got, let me see, should I see what's going on? Yeah, let's see what's going on. So really the key to any of these whimsical styles is you need to have that texture and grit in there. So her hair was just colored by Casey O. Um, if you guys don't follow her on Instagram, you definitely should. Um, but he's gonna explain what he did with her hair color really quick. West does hair. You guys follow West does hair? He just did this color over at the Pope Brian booth with B3. What do you guys think of this color? All these four beautiful colors going on here today. I love it. And my little trick. So it kind of comes out just a little here, and you can see that taping. So what we're going to do is just kind of almost um, pull it up a little bit. And I'm going to take my hairpin. And I like the textured hairpins, you guys. The one that has a little bit of like grit to it. They're like ribs. So you hold on to the braid. I'm going to push it against the scalp. And then I'm going to weave it ever so slightly up and down. So you're weaving it and you're grabbing onto some hair at the top. And then you're pushing it back down. Does that make sense? So it's my way to keep the braid in there. Now she has some big hair. Do you guys like it? Colored by Leslie's hairstyle, by the best hairstyle, one blindfolded, one with eyes. Nice to part of hair. I can kind of see where it likes to go on its own. But you always want to ask your client so that you can, again, customize. I'm going to take this area so that she gets that nice little swoop over to the side. Sometimes couples, if you guys are interested, you can also come on over here. We have quite a few of the hairbands that can be tried on. Everybody else knows. They're smart, they're smart business women, let me put it that way. But anyway, to get those unrealistic colors, that unrealistic fun, length, fullness, whatever, I mean, it's almost impossible to do it on your client and have their hair integrity still feel the same. And you know that they're only going to want it for a little bit because they get sick of it so fast. And trends come and go. So, there is... Okay, you guys want to see something really cool? So take a look at her hair and how beautiful it looks, right? Oh, well, we'll show her first and then we'll show her. Go ahead. All right, so we got instant hair within a minute. We got as uh, 18 to 20. You guys want to see what I got, what I got. I just got a few things, just stuff that I kind of was needing. So I went to the From Our Booth, like you guys saw. If you do any type of balayage lightning or lightning foils, you guys, these brushes are life. They're amazing. I don't even know what's in that pamphlet. Oh, so it just has everything that they sell there. And let me see. Okay. So I got two brushes of the, or two packs of the smaller brushes. This comes with, oh, let me get the focus. This comes with three brushes. So I got six new brushes. And then I got this pack of little, little brushes. And I didn't even know that they had these. And I am so stoked for using these for balayaging. That's going to be awesome. And then I got a pack of their pop-up foil. Now this foil right here is so soft. It is like a foil dream. I love this stuff. And it pops up. So if you don't have an assistant that holds your foils, this is really helpful. Um, so you're foils don't stick and then they threw this in there it's just a little color wipe hair color wipe to help remove your client's color and then they're always like everyone's always ha sitting in the aisles handing you samples so I got a bunch of samples of stuff and I am so excited about this this is what Mandy was demonstrating with this is magic lightener so I got some of the hair oil and some of the ammonia free powder lightener so this is ammonia free lifts up to Mandy says 11 levels but they say 10 levels um, because they don't want to be you know making themselves look too amazing even though it's supposedly super awesome it is made with argon oil um, a blue coloring pigment and then lavender oil and it is um, ammonia free which is super awesome and you're supposed to mix this one to three so three parts developer to one part powder which um, I was like oh wow this tub is actually kind of small but since you use so little of powder that totally makes sense so I am really stoked to use this and then I I cannot wait to start using this all this stuff I'm so excited about I got the Fanola No Yellow Shampoo. All my blonde clients, I will be using this in you at the salon. I know this shampoo is going to be so awesome for toning. 
All right, guys, I am super oily. You guys can see, oh my gosh, I'm like so shiny now. I have been at the hair show since eight this morning. I am now on my way. I went home, got my husband, and I am now on my way to one of my uh, co-workers birthday dinners out in Laguna Beach. So, oh my gosh, that show was incredible i feel so inspired i have so many new things i'm going to be trying out new things i'm going to be experimenting and i really want to get into um being an education stylist because that is my favorite thing i love teaching it is so much fun so um i have no idea what is going to be on this vlog but I am gonna be putting everything together and sharing some of the stuff that I learned, um, some of the snips of people doing their platform work. Guys, I got to see Hair Godzito, I got to see Be Seen, Confessions of a Hairstylist, Lala Up Updos, um, of course, Mandy Sue Salon, um, just some freaking insane artists that are basically our hair gods and I got to see them all do work and for $90, $90 for hair ticket, I got to do all these different classes and get all of this education for 90 bucks. You can't beat that. So um, I will sign off and um, I hope you guys maybe pick up something and if not, check out any of these artists if they're ever teaching in your area because it is so worth it to invest in yourself, in your education and knowing how to do hair better and better and better and better and better because you can get better until the day you die so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in one of my next videos bye